This video is brought to you by ASUS. With the development of powerful yet super efficient SOCs, one thing I've noticed in recent years is that buyers aren't just chasing performance anymore. The way I see it, people are making decisions based on practicality, and a recent market analysis proves exactly that. 56% of US consumers prioritize cost over raw power when selecting a laptop, solidifying the so-called mainstream segment, which works for both professionals professionals and families. That is why, for many, the ideal laptop isn't the one with the highest of specs, but rather the one that delivers what actually matters most, without breaking the bank at the same time. Take this VivoBook 14, for example, a new offering from Asus. It's a Copilot plus PC laptop powered by Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon X processor. At a glance, it may not be representing itself as the thinnest or lightest laptop out there, but that's totally fine because that's not the point here. What you get instead is an everyday machine that feels well balanced, offering features that fit into a workflow without, you know, overcomplicating things. Most importantly, it comes at a reasonable price tag. $700. Now the question is, does it deliver enough value without cutting corners where it really matters? Well, Let's check it out. Now, I've been rocking this thing for a while, and one thing that stands out on a daily basis is the instant wake, thanks to Snapdragon's DNA. No lag, no waiting. After using it for a week, I've come to appreciate the single finger screen lift, revealing that instant on experience, much like a smartphone. And that's just the beginning. With an AI engine capable of up to 45 tops, this laptop is built to power the new wave of AI enhanced tools in Windows. A great example is real-time live captions, as well as generative fill and arrays and features like image restyle. But I think one of my favorites is super resolution in photos though, which comes in handy when you have to deal with low-res images on the fly. Asus exclusive features like StoryCube, on the other hand, further highlight the seamless integration. If you've never seen it, StoryCube pulls assets from multiple sources like local storage, connected devices, and cloud services, and its purpose is to allow for faster search, grouping, sorting, and even editing photos and videos, all in one place. Think of it as your media hub. To really understand what this laptop is all about, I took it on a family trip, using it for admin work, some graphic design needs, social media posts, and most importantly, writing. You know, looking at it, I was very perplexed because it is unapologetically simple while not looking too generic. Take the new micro hinge ASUS has implemented here, for example. It is a smart engineering solution that reduces hinge size by 52%, which you can only notice if you put it side by side with another laptop. Aside from giving this machine a more refined look in the most subtle way, it actually helps maintain airflow efficiency. A less obvious but equally thoughtful feature is the 180 degree hinge, which allows for versatile screen positioning few other laptops in this segment can even brag about. The version that I have with me comes in a unique shade of blue that looks even better in person. You know, subtle yet sophisticated. More importantly, it doesn't feel cheap. In fact, this laptop feels rock solid, like a tank in terms of sturdiness. It even resists fingerprints surprisingly well. Yes, it is slightly thicker than, you know, ultra portables, but that extra space comes with real benefits. Like a full-sized keyboard Asus calls ErgoSense that features dish-shaped key indentations and a noticeable key travel, the longest in its class, in fact. Those subtle indentations aren't just for aesthetics. They glide your fingers for better accuracy while typing, resulting in a nice symphony, in my opinion. On the other hand, the touchpad is spacious enough to include smart gestures even in this smaller 14-inch iteration of the model. Swiping up and down on the right side controls the brightness, for example, while the left side adjusts the volume. No flashy buttons, but features represented in a very minimalistic approach. Things are just as ample when it comes to connectivity, by the way. On one side, there are two USB 4 ports, which support up to 40 gigabits data bandwidth, display port, and power delivery. 3.5 millimeter headphone jack is of course present, so is the full-sized HDMI 2.1. The dual flanking USB 3.2 ports are also clutch for those peripheral dongles that don't seem to evolve for some reason. Now, charging as expected happens via one of the USB-C ports supporting fast charging and allowing 50% top up in just 30 minutes, which is very much normal given the capacity here. It is 50 watt hours, which combined with the efficiency of the Snapdragon X processor, on paper, it is tested to 29 hours of activity, but as you can expect, that varies based on the demand. 
For the average productivity needs, I'd say it easily translates to a full day battery life, if not even more. And what's nice is the fact that in the box you get this compact 65 watt USB-C charger. An obvious feature worth highlighting here is the integrated Full HD IR camera that supports Windows Hello, allowing for instant secure login with just a glance. Something that works even in low light conditions. A nice touch personally is the built-in physical privacy shield which easily slides over the webcam when not in use. This is a video test using the full HD camera of the VivoBook 14. Let me know how it sounds in the comment section below. Beyond that, Asus Adaptive Dimming and Adaptive Lock is present here, where the display stays on when I'm actively looking at it and dims automatically when I step away, helping conserve battery life and enhance privacy. But this is more of a personal choice, to be honest. So under the hood, you get a well-balanced configuration. With 16 gigabytes of LPDDR5X RAM and up to one terabyte of PCIe 4.0 NVMe SSD storage, there's plenty of power for multitasking, file handling, and in my case, slightly demanding daily work like graphic design and bulk photo editing and export. When it comes to that kind of work, there are a few things worth noting. The VivoBook 14 gets a lot right, but like any device, there are some trade-offs. The display is a standard IPS panel. While perfectly fine for most tasks, it's not OLED, and it doesn't get quite as bright as some high-end displays out there. For those who rely on an SD slot, it is something to be aware of, as there isn't one. Neither of those may not be deal breakers, but depending on your workflow, there are small details worth keeping in mind. Despite that, this laptop delivers a surprisingly immersive audio experience given its 14-inch footprint. Thanks to Dolby Atmos, the dual speaker system manages to simulate personal separation to an extent. So here's the thing. In a world where laptops can easily push past the $1,000 mark, I think this $699 machine covers what matters most. It's built for real life, whether that means getting work done, jumping on calls, and even indulging in the occasional entertainment. It's a laptop that prioritizes function over flash, and that's exactly what makes it stand out for busy people, families, and perhaps most of all, students. Now, if you're looking for something ultra portable, you know, a laptop that you can barely feel in your backpack, then check out this video right here. Like and subscribe to the channel as well as my newsletter. And as always, it's been an absolute pleasure. This is E, over and out.